Welcome back to the YMCA. Wait. Uh, what? Uh, 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 we, uh, we, what are you doing? We don't have it. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. Because uh, the rejoice, you kind of go like, you put your oh. arms out like the Y. So I'm uh. just going to do that. But have never mind. rejoice. Um, so Zach is in control. No, no, no. no, I know. I'm wondering if we got the items over here. Oh, yes, we did. Yeah. There was... I found out I didn't actually go and get that, like, bone shard or yeah, stasis shard or undead. And it's some aluminum, something majig. Yeah, exactly. One of those items that's useful. Hmm. It was just a useful thing. Like, yeah. A crystal gem. There's stuff down there, but I'm not going to bother with it. There's... You can't tell there's a hole here. I, I can tell there's a hole there, uh, and it looks like a trap. It is. Uh -huh. There's there a way to get there. I know. Not... Falling. Where there's a will, there's a way. I know. The yeah. <laughs> Is there the stairs this way? No, no oh, hello. So while Zach's playing, um, I want to take the time to talk about the story of this game a little more in depth with Jeff here, because I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls One, trying to understand what on earth is um, going on. Well, what's going on right now is I'm running like a bitch. Yeah, you just took a heavy soul arrow to the face. It looks more like a soul spear, but I, I'm just splitting hairs. Is it a soul spear? I, I was I... just splitting hairs at this point. You're about to be ambushed from the right. We don't care. Crystal bug is priority. I know the crystal gem. And, S yeah. Yeah. You were going to say? Right. Um. So, I'm very curious as to, like our character in this game. Holy Jesus. Wow, you are not... Wow. <laughs> I would be dead if I went for the magic, though. That is true. Good thing you switched uh, gear for that purpose. Um, right, so I'm more curious about like who our character is in this game, because in the first two games, um, you are an undead who like hollows, but our character doesn't really hollow necessarily upon death. Well... And we use embers instead of humanity, and it's like, just like the what- The thing about this game is that, it, first of all, to understand what your character is, it assumes that you've at least played a little bit- A little bit? No, you've played Dark Souls, and you've got what is most people's first ending. Yeah, well, so you kept the fire going. Yeah, you linked the flame, you did that ending- for both games. No, for just Dark Souls 1. Because most things are taken from Dark Souls 1 in this game. Not many things are taken from 2. Okay. In fact, almost nothing. Yeah. Well, the crown from the cutscene, I mean, seems like a reference to the crowns that you find in the second one. That kind of... Uh, a little bit, maybe, but... I mean, it, it doesn't say, but I, I would feel there's some implication. Basically, our character here was someone who links the fire. Yes. And... So, we're a Lord of Cinder, then? Yes. At least that's what is implied. Right. And we're going around killing oh, hello. the other Lords of Cinder because... We're trying to stop the apocalypse. Yeah. Like, the fire is fading again. Right. And the so dark age is coming. It's. They don't want that to happen. Right. It's. Uh, no, that would be a spoiler. Never mind. Are we just competing, like, for the throne? Like. Um, oh, like. No. Oh, it, like it depends, because, I mean, with the characters you can meet through this game. You get a total of four different endings, which none of which I actually know about. I just know there are four. But, like, you can do so many different things. You could probably. I hate that dog. <laughs> well, it's not as cute as puppies, so. Kill it with an axe. It 
only alerted that one. Well, <laughs> interesting. Lucky you. Got a lantern. Just great right back in this area again. Oh yeah, that's right. You rested at dawn five. Um, well, what did you miss? So, another reference that I noticed from watching the cutscene to this game again. Um, it said that when the bells ring, the Lords of Cinder awake. So, is it implied that an unhallowed did, like, ring the bells of awakening again? Essentially? Um, I'm not sure, because you never find those in this game. But right. it could be, like, something like that happened in the in-between between the two games. Right. That some bell was rung, now all these people are coming back because shit is getting real for the Age of Fire, so... Seems to be a very recurring theme throughout this game. <laughs> the entire series, yeah. Yeah. Well, technically speaking, they can make, like, an infinite number of these games because... I was trying to read up on the lore, and it's like every so many years the fire has to be redone, and so like they always have more Lords of Cinder, and they could keep this going technically forever. Yeah, I mean, although I I, I personally would think it'd be cool if like the canon story would at some point like go to the Dark Age. Like you actually find a cure for the whole curse of the undead. Well, the cure would be nice, but I think it would be cool to see, like, this world in the Dark Age. And we're at a boss, aren't we? Well... Yes, we are. Yeah. The thing about seeing the world as a Dark Age is... For any of you who have played Dark Souls 1, imagine Ulysseel only everywhere. Because that is what happens during the Dark Age. Right. And I, I was... Where uh, humanity runs rampant. And, uh, did he just teleport? Yes, this lost. Oh, yeah, place. that's right. He, uh, great. Where the hell are Hello? you? Hello? Um, so near the beginning of the game when we fought that first boss and he, like, transformed halfway in. I don't know what was up with that. He was just, that was just his thing. Well, I mean, like, the transformation looked gnarly, like, it looked like Manus in a way. Look like kind of. I feel like that's gonna be something that'll come out with DLC because other enemies can do it as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I was I wondering if that was yeah. part of the Dark Age, like if it was just getting worse. That's what I was thinking earlier today. Is maybe that's part of the apocalypse, but then I don't know. It just seems like some like more than just three enemies would have it. Yeah. There is actually a part of the game where there's a few more that are like that permanently. Yeah. Shit. That's what I hate about this boss. Just hide behind them and heal. There you go. Drink the Sunny D. Oh, memes for days. We so uh, she's back there because she's the one with the purple. Yeah, that's our target. Yeah. yeah. Just gonna run over here and kill this one. That's this feels a lot like um, pinwheel. It was probably meant to be that way. Only With it's, the clones and like... Only it's a little tiny bit harder. Oh yeah, Pinwheel is super easy. This boss has a lot more health and I is mean, a lot more threatening. Pinwheel like. is only ever a possible challenge if you go at him the first... Thing. If he's like the next boss you fight from no, the beginning. The first boss you fight. Just like, boom. After Asylum Demon, you go straight down there. Ignore everything else, just run straight to him. Where do you go? Oh, what? <laughs> Hello. That's a clue. Good. Oh, oh shoot! It was a distraction. Oh, jeez. Nice. Nice. And dead. Oh. Crystal safe. Whoop whoop. Take it, son. Chip with Joel. Yeah. Soul of the crystal safe. All right. Not bad. We're taking names. We're going back to our good armor. Maybe not. <laughs> Just for Jeff. 
just for Jeff? What about me? I'm here too. Well, what armor set do you like? I don't care. Just whatever is good. Whatever gives us the most stats. Well, that generally means the heaviest thing, and well, you know, sometimes I'm just trying to keep us. Good. I'm just trying to keep us under under seventy percent. Yeah, that's fair enough. Where the hell? Aha! You can also unequip something once in a while, Jack. <laughs> Excuse me for forgetting. Yeah. All right. Cool. Basically, the Fallout Knight helmet just looks like that, but with like steel plate. Yeah, you take the same thing. So wait, we became embed when we killed that boss. That's yes. how it works. Interesting. <laughs> Pointless. And it's you don't. A say. thousand and twenty appraisals. Uh, a thousand and twenty. Wow. Yeah, but you guys are seeing this. What? Oh, what? I'm wow. That is a, a hollow rock. I'm just gonna, just gonna walk away. I'll probably want to. I mean, no, fire. no game is perfect as far as graphics go. So. <laughs> well, yeah. it's, it's the reality of the gaming industry. Although this game's pretty darn good looking. It, it you yeah. know, yeah. There's no complaints from the binge team on this one. Uh, mm. Yeah, I guess there's none. Uh, I could go. Tracy! In. Shout out to our friend on Xbox. Who never Find talks her. to us anymore. Ooh, Crystal Bug. <laughs> well, one of them died by gravity. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, you could have just not moved. I was totally okay with that. Yeah, so there would have been one up on that cliff, and I think it ran off. And down that pit. Oh. Well, shoot. Hey, we got the stuff from it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Try jumping. You don't say. Equals death. Well, um, I actually don't like to fight her from this angle. And. And there's a very specific reason why. Because there's two fucking butchers that will come to her aid. So I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna plunge like a smarty. Can you just low one away? Yep. Mm, mm, no. Yes, you can. Attack this guy, the other one's gonna aggro. Other one aggroed. Yeah, okay. Oh, um, well, I'm saying. Shit! What? Shit! Whoop. Shit! Oh, everything's bad. Uh, not quite. No. He's He's got a handle. As long as he doesn't fall off. Oh. Do you load. have any bombs? Okay. He does. Just don't roll to the left. Yeah. Well, now you can do whatever, but that's Whoa. not gonna hit. Cool. <laughs> Ow. We'll Wait. take it. <laughs> Goodbye. It's okay. I'm gonna try and push him off. Get the fuck back here. That's <laughs> the one I want. That yeah, I want that one. So. Goodbye. Oh. What? Uh, I was really hoping that would have been a bomb. Been into, into the fit. Yeah. The pit. If only we're a little bit to the left. Take that tiny night shard and we'll just. Uh, That's a body. Yep. But uh, we can sneak up on this person. <sighs> Going for the kill. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum. Bum, bum, bum. Stamina management is important. It really is in this game. Harold Armor! It sure is. It's between life and death. Right. So on my own personal file, this is the armor that I use for just about everything. And now we are... At a new bonfire. <sighs> We're in a new whole tab. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's crazy. Cathedral of the Deep. Now, there is a very specific thing I want to say to anybody who's playing this game. Um, yeah. So, if you pay attention up that st up those stairway, there's a dude up there. Uh-huh. Um, there's actually two guys. 
-hmm. And there's a way to fight them without triggering both of them. And that's to come down here. And kick the first one's ass. While he stands there like an idiot. He actually wasn't there when I came down here the first time. He was actually, like, oh. chilling up somewhere else. Wow. Yeah, watch your stand. That's fine. You say that, but then you'll get cocky for the later fights, which will one-shot you if, they let, if you let them do that. Now, Zach, you beat... Did you not beat the game on your phone? No, I have not. Oh, okay. He's... I don't know how close he is to beating it. I'm where you are, Jeff. You're at the final boss? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just didn't know if you finished I just it. haven't, um... Son of a bitch. Wow. I hate this guy. <laughs> but he's also a permanent kill, so I only have to fight him this one time. Yeah. Yes, since... Son of a bitch. Since the last time we recorded, since this is new, a new recording session... Yep. Both Zack and I have gotten to the fight with the final boss. Right. Yeah. In fact, he's the only boss left for me. He's not the only boss left for me. Because I didn't do all the side stuff. Or at least a lot of it. So I'm that's the reason I haven't beat it yet, is I'm going through and I'm doing all the other things before I Ah. Yeah. You save the optional stuff for last? Well, well, I, second it's stuff last. I didn't find out about my first run through. Which is very easy if you don't, like, look it up, <laughs> knowing this game. Well, Jacob told me about one of them, um, or at least how to get to it. Uh, Jeff showed me one while we were recording. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the dancer. Yep. No, no. dance is required. Oh. That was, uh, no, he showed me the, um, when he did that whole... Fire demon thing in the undead settlement. Oh, oh, duh. Yeah. So, um, I went back and I did that. I didn't get any of the actual, like, good stuff from Seagward for it. Because he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I still went and killed the stupid thing and got all those items, which was really helpful. Then I showed our friend Axel all of it. That is the oh, shield. Oh, that is a good shield. Yeah. You want That's it. the one I use on my file. I have a plus four. I actually switch between all the crest shields, just depending on which magical defense now here's a, I want. Here's a... You only have two of those, though. Yeah. No, I know, but I'm just wondering if I could plunge attack him. If you From do it... here, I don't think so. Maybe. If you Should jump? I, try? I mean... I'm... Oh! Wow, nice. Watch your stamina. Yeah. I'm Try not to let him uh, parry you. Well, he's he's significantly easier than the other one was. He looks. I'm very disappointed that the spider shield in this game is a lot worse than in the first game. That disappoints yeah. me. Because it's Blue's shield of choice in the first game. Because it's really good, it, especially it's... for certain areas of the game that are just <laughs> bullcrap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hidden path ahead. There's an item. Hmm. That I already got. Ah, well. You hey. read the message, I don't think you actually picked it up. What? That I know. said hidden path ahead. Not oh, well, whatever, it's up there now. Okay. Well. And it's looking about that time, so. It's a spider shield. Of course it is. It's the next time to spider shield. Before we do anything. Um, oh, this no. area is a pain in the ass if you go through the right, or like the straightforward way. <laughs> uh, so if you hug the, hug the wall over here. Oh. Use the trench to your advantage. Yeah, and then you only have to fight a dog. And an arrow to the chest. Bolt. I'm pretty correct. sure it was a, an arrow. I think they're just archers. It's a fire bolt, because they are crossbowmen. So they are. Okay. Thanks for proving me wrong, asshole. <laughs> that's why, that's why, why Jeff serve. is here. He okay. lives to surf, he lives to please. Well, he... we're about to get to a bonfire, so we might as well just... Oh, that's where you... Okay, that's fine. Hilarity ahead. Quite. Oh, hilarity? And what is this person will... doing? Oh, jeez. And... Whoa. Dead. <laughs> no damage taken. Wow. Free souls! This game is very daring. 
I love it. I love every second of it. It's how do you get that? Oh, yeah, you circle around. Of That's course you do. The answer for everything. Circle around. Find the path. Take the back door. <laughs> yep. Wink, wink. Lannies. Um, um, let's no. not. <laughs> let's just, let's just, okay. Or we could have, bring him in and have him help us get through this whole area. But we're not going to. Alright. I'm going to this fire lake, trying to level up. Cool. Alright. We'll Bye catch everybody. you guys tomorrow. On another exciting episode of Binge Gaming. Yep. With a demon's great axe. And a leather shield. Yeah. Why would you use a leather shield? That's horrible. <laughs> That's orthodox. Um, let's see. BDSM and it's light are the only two reasons I can think of. The yeah. only one worth it is BDSM. <laughs>